Hello, welcome to Maltbox, the non-chill filtered whiskey blog. I'm Andy and this is whiskey review number 44. What I have for you today is an undisclosed Speyside single malt scotch whiskey. Oh, easy now. It also comes in this box. Um, and what that is, <laughs> when in Rome, it's the Glen Marnock 28 year old Speyside single malt scotch whiskey from Aldi, the supermarket Aldi. All right, wood, wooden box, unbelievable. Not that plastic or wood effect cardboard. Um, so the Glen Marnock, 28 year old. Glen Marnock is not a distillery. Let's get that out of the way. So it is an undisclosed whiskey from an undisclosed malt distillery in Speyside. And um, Glen Marnock is the generic name for Aldi's single malts. They've got a few no age statements there now, like a Highland and Isla. Um, there's also, I think, for a brief time, there's a rum uh, cask finish. In the past, I've actually had a 24 year old Glenmarnock from about two or three years ago. Uh, and now they've really upped the game this year in the run up to Christmas. This is a special release in the Christmas period, um, in their special buy type things. You know, where you can, you know, I, I live in a landlocked county pretty much, well, I live in a landlocked town. And uh, they sell wetsuits. You know, just get, get a wetsuit with your broccoli, why not? Um, so, moving on. The Glenmire at 28 year old. Is it, well, for a start, nice healthy colour. Um, but I suspect it's healthy on the outside uh, in the sense that it's uh, sort of fur coat, no knickers. Um, I believe that there is caramel colouring added to this. But on the plus side, it's bottled at 43.4%, which is a bit of an odd number to bottle at. But on the plus side, it's, it's not 40%. And their other bottlings that I've had in the past um, have been 40%. So that's a good start. And now onto the real killer. And the reason that I picked this up, apart from the fact it's a 28 year old single malt, it cost me 40 quid. £39.99p. That is absolutely insane in a good way. Good, insane, quirky. Um, quite nice brandy. Um, a nice bottle akin to Brook Laddie in terms of the actual bottle itself. As I say, it comes in this nice wood crate. So, onto the whiskey. As I say, it is a nice colour, but at the same time, I suspect it's um, it's fake. <clears throat> so, um, in terms of colour, let's call this flat cola with a hangover. Because it does have that Coca-Cola colour, which, you know, surprisingly enough, is chock full of E150, because that's how they get it there in the first place. And... Already, you can see some nice legs coming down off that, on the, on the glass there. Onto the nose. So I'm trying it, going to try it neat first and then I've got some water, just to see what that does to it. Initially, it's quite dusty. So I think of like a dusty old wardrobe, like a solid wood wardrobe. As well, I'm getting a lot of spice, and in particular, cumin, which is quite heavily used in sort of Eastern cuisine and Middle Eastern cuisine. Um, it's quite unusual, really. Quite hot, quite spicy. And then, then now there's a lot of toffee. Tea leaves, so black tea. It's kind of like 
like a, a chocolatey note in there, but a nice sweet dry chocolatey kind of um, profile. So think like Nesquik chocolate powder. There's also licorice in there as well. I mean, there's clearly a lot of sherry influence in there as well. It's sweet, it's quite dry. Very good start. Really, really nice nose. And just on the back then, I've got a little bit of cream soda. Mmm, really enjoyable. Really, really nice. Quite engaging, quite challenging, which is what I like in a, in a good malt. Um, you know, it's very three dimensional, there's a lot of layers to it. I like it. Mmm. Toasted tea cake or fruit loaf, like toasted fruit loaf. Onto the palette now. Decent mouth, <clears throat> sorry, decent mouth feel. Not amazingly oily, but it's certainly not thin and watery. Initial flavours, again with the chocolate, all types of chocolate now. Milk chocolate and a very strong, dark, bitter chocolate. Mint leaves, tobacco. A little, tiny little bit of honey something kind of coming up now into the finish which is again kind of spicy and thinking kind of like a, a nutmeg sort of flavour in there now vanilla mm. a lovely drum really is just going back to the nose briefly just now after initially tasting it I am getting honey on the nose again uh, I'm getting honey on the nose now, should I say. There's also a little bit of sherbet on there. Mm. Chocolate gatto, or black forest gatto. There is sort of like a kind of a little tiny bit of like orange peel in there maybe. Mm. Finish quite long, warming, not very drying, it's not too bitter. It's quite the finish is to be fair quite sweet. Um, doesn't have a lot else going on, but it's very satisfying. Brings it to a nice conclusion. What a good drum that is. So let's uh, let's try it with water now. Let's see how much that. That's fine. I'm only going to put a teaspoon and a half in. Let's see what that does. So, while that's opening up, as I say, this is in stores at the moment. Uh, well, when I'm recording this review anyway, in the, in the couple of weeks running up to Christmas. Uh, unfortunately, it took me a little while to find. Um, I work in the city centre of Manchester, and um, the main store in there was cleaned out long ago, probably stolen. Um, and um, it took a little while to, uh, to come into store in my, uh, my nearest shop, so... You know, there was a, was a little bit of weight involved, but 40 quid, 40 pounds for a 28 single malt, a 28 year old single malt. I mean, even by, you know, Aldi standards, that is cheap. Um, there are some theories from, um, from the blogger Arty online. There is mentions of potentially being Glenn Farkless, 
mentions of, well, that was actually my, my friend Sean. We were having a discussion trying to figure out where he was from, and he suggested that he might be going Farkless or possibly Abelo. Um Thinking probably more of the latter, but we'll never know, I suppose. Uh, and that is one of the reasons why they can actually sell it for such a price, because they don't disclose the distillery on it. And, I mean, if you think about what, what could you get from an official bottling for 40 quid? Let's have a look. I mean, Aberfeldy 12 in the corner over there, that's normally about 40 quid, 35 quid. You've got um, Compass Box Spice Tree, that's 40 quid. Uh, Laddie 10, second edition. It's a bit more now, actually, that's about 50. Um, Highland Park, it's a bit cheaper than that. Lefroy 10, Kilholm and Mackey Bay. Glen Farkless 15. It's just 28 years old. It's absolutely phenomenal. So, back onto this now with a bit of water. Okay, right. Initially, it's very, very creamy. Really, really creamy, like vanilla custard. But straight away, cutting through that, a lot of lemon peel, a lot of lemon rind. If you know you or your partner or whoever is making a Christmas pudding or Christmas cake at the minute, and they're there, you know, like putting the lemon on the cheese grater or the grater grind or whatever you call it, um, you'll have sort of like got this like lemon note and lemon sort of um, smell that just won't leave. Um, and it really does stand out. Again, I, met, I know I mentioned cream soda without the water on the palate, and I'm getting it on the nose now in this. Sort of like a caramelly nut kind of thing, like peanut brittle. Hmm. And um, a little touch of menthol, which kind of goes back to the mint leaves that I mentioned earlier. Okay, on the palate with water, certainly not as complex, but there's still really, really nice notes of sort of pipe tobacco. I've got um, sort of chocolate truffles, kind of gingerbread, a nice little gingerbread flavour in there. The finish is still quite long, surprisingly, still quite warm. Recurring theme is very sweet. So, overall, what a great little whiskey. And I say little, it's actually the same age as me, so it's not that little at all. Um, so with that in mind, and I think onto the scores, I'm going to give this uh, this little blighter uh, 91 out of 100. I think it's worth every penny. And if you do come across one in the shop, slip it in the trolley, slip it in the basket, hide it under something if you're not allowed. Do whatever you can do to grab it. Because at 40 quid, you might be able to get away with it. Um, you know, in the, the receipt that's like this long when you finish your shopping. Um, and you know it, it would particularly this time of year it would make a really nice present not only because it's quite kind to your wallet it's also pretty damn good whiskey um, and it comes in this nice nice box which uh, is obviously pretty good when you're giving it as a present it looks very nice um, so yeah I think it's very well deserving of the score very well deserving of being on the shelf and um, I'm kind of tempted to stock up I'll be honest so um, thanks so much for watching, hope you enjoyed, see you soon.